right, number two. Number two is a question about Hooke's Law. Let's remind ourselves what Hooke's Law is all about. Hooke's Law says that the force from a spring is equal to negative kx. More importantly, what Hooke's Law says is that the stretch of a spring is proportional to the force applied. So I'm going to put the stretch is proportional to the force. Okay, so I'll let you take a moment, pause the video, read the question. All right, you've had a chance to read the question. I just added this here. We actually don't need to use the equation in this case, though you could get the right answer. If you did, it, it will maybe trick you a little bit if you use this. So let's, let's talk about why we should use the uh, proportional argument here. So if we hang three kilograms off of this spring, it will stretch 12 centimeters below its unstretched position. That's, that's actually really important for you to understand that it's going to stretch below the unstretched position when we hang three kilograms off. So you, it stands to reason that for each kilogram, uh, so one kilogram would give you uh, four centimeters of stretch. Okay? So it stands to reason that four kilograms would give you 16 centimeters of stretch. And that seems, at first, like the answer. Now, unfortunately, it's not. Um, the reason it's not is because of the way this question is worded. Now, if you were going very quickly, and I know that some of you did this, um, and you got 16 as your answer, right? Three kilograms gives me uh, 12 centimeters of stretch. Four kilograms is going to give me 16 centimeters of stretch. None of these say 16 centimeters. Uh, 32 is double 16. Let's go with that. But here's why it's 32. Let's read the question carefully. It says, the new block is released from the position shown above. So it's released from here at which the string is unstretched. So how far will it go as it falls? So keep in mind, at this moment, it has a bunch of potential energy. And if we were to just like gently lower it, it would stop stretching, not at 12 centimeters, but down here, like we said, at 16. The important fact is that we've actually lifted it above its equilibrium position by 16 centimeters, and we're going to let go. So it's going to pass 16 centimeters, and it's going to go 16 further centimeters past the equilibrium position. So it's going to look like this. It is, uh, let's say it's attached to the ceiling. It hangs, it's compressed like this, okay? And it's going to first drop down, oops, 16 centimeters. This is where it would hang normally. And the, the whole point is that it's got a bunch of energy. It's got some momentum. It's going to go past the equilibrium position and it's going to go another 16 centimeters before it stops. So it's going to stop down here at the bottom. So this obviously is 32 centimeters. So this is kind of a, a very pernicious question because um, the obvious answer doesn't show up on uh, any of the letter choices. It is kind of nice that it doesn't show up because otherwise, like for example, if this said uh, 16 instead of 18, you may be very tempted to just go ahead and pick 18. To reinforce this, I want to try to show this to you over on the uh, FET simulation. Take a look. All right, I've got this set up in a way that I think makes sense. If you'd like to do the same, I just went to the masses and spring simulation. I'm in the intro where you can have two different springs. I've included the ruler and checked this stuff on. So pause it if you want to get to the same settings as me. Now, I'm going to add 100 grams here. What's important is they're, they're measuring from the top there. Uh, let me pause that. They're measuring from the top of where the spring connects to the mass. So if I pull this back up to its natural length, watch if I take this off of here, the natural length of the spring is that blue line. And I'm going to add 100 grams on there. Okay, If I just let it hang, it will hang uh, 20 units, maybe let's call it 20 centimeters, below that blue line, below the equilibrium position. If I bring this back up and drop it from its natural position, it's going to go right past 20 centimeters and go all the way down to 40 centimeters. Check it out. There you see, and then it goes back up to the top. So we could use this uh, the same system if we increased the amount just a little bit. We could do the same situation that we did here. 
So I'm going to leave it at that, but that is the intuition behind solving problem number two.